The solar storm appears to have knocked out some infrastructure to some nuclear power plants in the northeast. Yesterday, a nine mile point in upstate New York had to go into a hot shutdown. Coincidentally, this is an area of impact primarily poleward of 55 degree geomagnetic latitude. Induced currents, power grid fluctuations can occur. High latitude power systems may experience voltage alarms. Aurora. Auroras may be seen as low as New York to Wisconsin to Washington State. It was very odd about the storm. It was about 10 times stronger than these average solar storms that are happening. And it appears that these nuclear power plants were not prepared for this impact. Auroras may be seen as low as New York to Wisconsin to Washington State. Let's have a look at current situation. As you can see, there are several RADCOM 4 concerned watches in the area. Albany, New York. Right below that major population area, probably the most populated area in the United States. We have a RADCON 5, which is a very high alert. And this was the nine mile point. It's kind of hiding right behind Fitzpatrick. It's right next to it. That's the power plant that had to go into hot shutdown right above Syracuse. But you see also Boston's having some issues right now. This area has been pretty high a lot as well, but it's regularly 337, now it's 450. Then over here by Long Island, New York City, New Jersey having some problems, Washington DC above normal, 156. So that's a pretty high concentration here in the Northeast. And auroras could be seen as far as New York. I was also looking at the air quality index alerts. They're also is issued for these same areas. So August 28th, New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection has issued a code orange air quality alert Tuesday for Camden County. Air code quality alert means that air pollution concentrations within the region may become unhealthy for sensitive groups. Sensitive groups include children, people suffering from asthma, heart disease, or other lung diseases, and the elderly. The effects of air pollution can be minimized by avoiding strenuous activity or exercise outdoors. Because you know when you're exercising outside in polluted air, you're probably breathing in two to three times more of those particles. In a sense, I guess they're kind of warning you, but it's coincidentally these air alerts I found also in New York as well. I also found these in Delaware. So it's around that same area where the solar storm came down and had a, an influence and was blowing out generators. So these power fluctuations were happening. Now I did find it interesting, this is from spaceweather.com. They said it was a surprisingly strong geomagnetic storm and it sparked auroras seen from the Arctic Circle to the continental US. Arctic sky watchers should nevertheless remain alert for auroras. Earth is passing through a stream of high speed solar winds. And according to NOAA, there is a 40% chance of renewed minor storms on August 28th, which is today. Electricity flows through the soil of Norway. When a geomagnetic storm erupts, most eyes naturally turn to the sky, looking for auroras. But during the surprisingly strong G3 class geomagnetic storm of August 26th, there was an action underfoot as well. Probes buried into the ground in Norway detected strong currents of electricity moving through the soil. So these currents, these electrical charged currents in the ground are knocking out our power grid. The currents were remarkably strong, says Stamis, who has been monitoring ground currents outside his Arctic Observatory for many years. During the magnetic storm vultures surged to 10 MVM or 10 V to KM. That's about 10 times stronger than normal. These are pretty rare readings without a strong solar flare during a solar minimum. 
Why does electricity flow through the ground during a magnetic storm? Changing magnetic fields causes currents to flow in wires and other conductors. In most places, soil can conduct electricity due to the presence of dissolved salts and minerals. So when the local magnetic field begins to vibrate, electricity naturally begins to flow. Currents induced by geomagnetic storms can cause voltage fluctuations in power systems and in rare cases, complete blackout. You don't want complete blackout at a nuclear power plant. At the Sandy Hook weather flow, the wind was west at 2 miles an hour. Elsewhere across New Jersey at 10 a.m. At Morristown, it was sunny with a temperature of 84. The following is an excessive heat statement from the National Weather Service for the following counties in New Jersey, Inland Ocean, Mercer, Middlesex, Northwestern Burlington, Somerset, Southeastern Burlington and Western Monmouth. Heat advisory remains in effect until 8 p.m. Wednesday. Heat index values 100 to 104 degrees due to temperatures in the lower to mid 90s and dew points in the lower 70s. Timing, peak heat indices are expected to occur during the afternoon hours of both today and again Wednesday. Impacts, the excessive heat will create a health risk, especially for the elderly and for those with pre-existing health issues. A heat advisory means that a period of excessively hot humid weather is expected. The combination of hot temperatures and high humidity will create a situation in which there is an increased risk for heat-related health issues. Drink plenty of fluids and stay in an air-conditioned environment, if possible. Be sure to check on elderly relatives and neighbors. Take extra precautions if you work or spend time outside. If possible, reschedule strenuous activities to the early morning or late evening hours. Know the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing and drink plenty of water. To reduce your risk while working outdoors, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in a shaded or air-conditioned environment. Anyone overcome by the heat should be moved to a cool shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. Call 911. The following River State's data is for recreational use only. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. Chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then chance of showers after midnight. Lows in the upper 60s. The chance of rain 40%. Friday, mostly cloudy. Chance of showers. Not as warm with highs in the upper 70s. The chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. Chance of showers. Lows in the upper 60s. The chance of rain 40%. Saturday, mostly cloudy. Chance of showers. Highs in the mid 70s. The chance of rain 30%. Saturday night, mostly cloudy. Slight chance of showers. Lows in the upper 60s. The chance of rain 20%. Sunday, partly sunny. Chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Extreme heat can cause illness and death among at-risk population who cannot stay cool. The heat and humidity may cause heat stress during outdoor exertion or extended exposure. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. In cases of heat stroke call 911.